I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. <laughs> Y'all, it's so early. <clears throat> I'm sleeping. Honestly. Before we get started, I have to give a post notification shout out. So our post notification shout out today will go to Miss Kiki, Miss K-I-K-I -I on YouTube. Thank you so much, girl, for being first on my video. Thank you for commenting, supporting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you want a post notification shout out just like her, all you got to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below something. You have to be the first one to comment down below. So, y'all, if you follow me on Instagram, last week, today is March 4th, last week I made a prom dress, right? Right? So I didn't record myself making the prom dress. I just, I didn't know what I was doing. So I didn't want to record it. I didn't think I, I should have recorded that if I didn't know what I was doing. But it came out pretty well. And so my boyfriend got on me about not recording. He was like, why you didn't record? And I was just like, huh? <laughs> Y'all, I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> But since everybody wanted to get on me about that, I was like, okay, okay. He was the only one to say something, so I'm like, okay. Next time I do something and I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to record it anyway. So today I'm making a corset. I'm trying to take a jersey to a corset, football jersey to corset. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. It's just I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> It's like in my head, this looks fire. Like I have a plan. I think I'm gonna draw it out. I can't draw. So I'm gonna show you guys me trying to draw what's in my head just to give you sort of a visual, but I can't draw y'all. So listen, this ain't gonna be no Picasso. This ain't gonna be no fashion sketch. You know, you used to seeing, it's really gonna be some chicken scratch, but I'm gonna make it work. I know, I know what it mean. I know what it mean. I know what I want it to look like. So I'm gonna, show you guys me trying to like plan it out in a way let me show you guys the, the jersey first so this is the jersey i'm going to be using and you know the jersey has a lot of intricate parts the only thing i thought this was sewn on but it's not it's printed on which is kind of in my way because if it was sewn on i could have just took it off and used this whole piece of fabric but since it's printed on i'm gonna have to like work with it or work around it it's an extra large so i have a lot of fabric to use but mm, i don't know that's what really threw me off like i was ready when i thought i could take this off but since i can't i don't i don't really know how i'm gonna go around it but i'm gonna try my best um yeah i'm pretty sure i can figure it out I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna figure it out. But yeah, I'm about to draw it out first. So I'm gonna show you guys me drawing this out to the best of my ability. back up <laughs> okay y'all hear me out hear me out okay i know i know you, you can't tell what the heck is going on but listen this is the front this is the back and this is a strap so this part here have you seen the little corsets with like the hook on it i want to put the hook here but i also want to put the hooks on the back as well um so i decided to like split this into three different parts I think it'll be easier to use the fabric that I have instead of trying to do one actual piece of fabric because you know I told you this has a number on it so if I want to use that part I have to be careful because I don't really have that much to use so I'm going to split this off into like three pattern pieces well it's only two pattern pieces but three pieces that are going to be put together so it's going to be two boob parts a body part and then we're going to have two back pieces with the loop for the chain and we're gonna have the holes to tie 
a tie in the back. But yeah, this is my <laughs> sketch. This is my drawing. I'm probably only gonna put like four pieces of boning in the front. So this is the updated drawing. I have the boning here, boning here, boning here, and boning here. I think this is gonna look good. I got a little faith in myself, so let's get to it. Okay, y'all, so this is the before of how the jersey looked on me, but now it's time to deconstruct this and turn it into something much better. So make sure you guys keep on watching and let's get into it. So first, I'm just starting off by removing all the little pieces, the little details that the jersey had, and I'm going to cut the jersey up into pieces that I can use for creating patterns and actually putting the corset together. After the jersey is all cut into pieces, this is what we have. And now it's time to use what we have and actually construct this jersey corset. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm using this front piece just to measure out the width and the length that I want the corset to be. So I'm just measuring myself and measuring that onto the corset. Then I'm gonna go in and actually cut off the excess that I don't need from the jersey. The next step is to create the side panel. So I'm just measuring out what we need and using the side panel fabric from the jersey to create the side panels for the jersey corset. After the side panels are cut out, this is what you should have. Two pieces, one for the left and one for the right. It's going to be a little longer, but that's okay. We're going to cut the excess off later. So next, I wanted to create a pattern piece for the loops that will be hanging. And I created them to be two inches by one inch in like a triangular shape. And then I added a 0.5 seam allowance around the whole thing. Once that pattern is drawn and cut out, this is what it should look like. And I'm just going to cut four pieces because we're going to have four hooks. So I'm going to cut out four pieces of this pattern. And this is what you should have. Now it's time to create the two back panels just as we did the side panels. Just using whatever measurements you'd like and creating two back panels. Okay, so we almost have every piece that we need. We have the two back panels, the two side panels, your front bodice piece, and we have the four loop pieces as well. Okay, y'all, so my camera died. I had to take a little breaky break, but we back. And I changed a couple things, so I'm gonna show you guys what I've changed so far. Okay, before I do get started, I want to give you guys the measurements for each piece just in case you want to try this yourself. So the strap pieces are 2 by 16. The side panels are 2 by 14. The back panels are 4 by 14. And these strips are 1 and a half by 16. Now we won't use the whole strip, but I did want to make them longer than what I actually needed. So they'll probably get cut off later. These you saw me make the pattern for and it's two inches by one inch and then I just connected the diagonal lines there. The front piece, I don't know the measurements for because obviously I freestyled it. Roughly, it's 14 by 15. So I also decided to bring this neckline down because it was made for a jersey and I don't want the neckline to be too high on this corset. So I just marked where I wanted to bring it down. I'm going to cut that out later yeah i hope you guys can get the visual of what it's going to look like but now it's time for me to just start putting everything together i'm going to cut the neckline and put the side panels on i think that's the first thing i'm going to do i can see it i hope y'all can see it if not you about to see it okay so let's go 
first thing you want to do is hem the top of your side panels before attaching them. Now we will attach the side panels by placing them face down to the bodice piece and pinning them. We're going to attach them using a straight stitch all the way down, nothing intricate at all. Once the side panels are sewn on, this is what you should have. Two side panels, straight stitch all the way down. And now we're gonna do the same thing with our back panels. Make sure your back panels are hemmed first, just like the side panels. And then we're gonna attach them face down, pin them together, and sew them with a straight stitch all the way down. Nothing too hard. Make sure to always end and begin with the back stitch so your stitches don't come apart. Once you're done, this is what it should look like. So I'm gonna cut the neckline out, attach the strap. Then I think I'm gonna put the work on the casings and the bottom chain parts because they have to be assembled before I attach them to this. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Neck, straps, and then we're gonna assemble, assemble all of that. Okay, for the straps, it's super simple. We're gonna fold them inside out, and then we're gonna sew straight across with the straight stitch. And after they're sewn straight across, we're just gonna flip them inside out with a loop turner, or you can use a safety pin if you don't have a loop turner. Once the straps are done, this is what you're gonna have. So I'm just gonna pin the straps face down to the bodies and sew straight across that top area. Nothing hard at all. I'm just gonna sew straight across for both. Now we're gonna create the casing for the boning just as we did the straps. Fold them inside out and sew straight along on the outside for each one. And then we're gonna use a loop turner or safety pin to flip them inside out. Now it's time to assemble our hook pieces. And for this, we're just gonna hem both sides of the hook piece straight down. And then we're going to attach the hook and sew straight across just to lock it in. Here's what I meant by that. It's hemmed on both sides and the keychain is locked in at the bottom. Step is to place your boning cases where you want them so I changed the position of where I wanted mine and you just want to pin them down for sewing once you're ready to sew we're going to sew on each side of the casing very close to the edge just to create an opening to push your boning in Now we also have to tuck this top section so that that isn't sticking out like that. And you just wanna fold it in and simply top stitch right across. So you're gonna fold both of them in and top stitch right across in the stitch that's already there. Once your casing is sewn on, this is what it should look like. Two stitches on each side, creating a casing. Okay, this is the boning that I will be using from Joann's. It came in a large roll in this package here. There are many different type of bonings, so you can just research and choose. But if you want an easy alternative, zip ties work as well. Now for this boning, I'm gonna remove the fabric from the actual plastic part 
So when you cut your boning, it's a little sharp at the edge. So you want to make sure that you file it down just so it doesn't stick through your fabric and cause a hole. So when you cut your boning, make sure you file it so it isn't sharp. The next step is to attach the loop pieces and you just want to place them face down on the bodice piece and we're going to sew straight across just to lock that in. Now that we have all the pieces placed where we want them, we're going to sew straight across on each one and then we're going to fold the bottom. So basically hemming the bottom and we're going to do a top stitch all the way across the bottom. Okay, so this is what we have so far. It's really done for the most part. I just have to add the eyelets here for the tie. I'm gonna add like these little things back on there somewhere for detail. Okay guys, it's the next day. I had to cut that off yesterday. I was tired and I was working on this thing like all day. I'm really happy how it's coming out. Now I'm just gonna add my eyelets. I'm gonna use this ruler and my marker to mark my holes for the eyelets. And then we're just gonna insert those and sew these on in random places and we'll be done. Okay, so this is what the eyelets are looking like. I decided to do two different colors. If you guys want the eyelet pack that I use, I will link it down below. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place this and I think it's going to go here. And I think these are going to go here. And <laughs> this is what we have. This is the final product. I'm really proud of how it came out. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think this tutorial was easy? Do you think you can follow along? <laughs> Do you like the jersey corset? Just let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Do not leave here without subscribing, okay? Share this with somebody. If you like this video, if you like the corset, share it. That's all I have for you guys. May your curls pop and your guard never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.